Okay, this is the results of a uh, design idea that I had to replace a traditional inverter at my workshop. Um, what I've got in my workshop is uh, just a cheap solar panel system from Harbor Freight. And I've got a small lithium iron phosphate battery and I was using a, just a regular small car inverter to power one of these uh, lights at my workshop. And I was basically trying to get a system where I could leave the light on day and night and the uh, battery would be topped off from the solar panel and I could just leave a light on in my shed. I was doing that uh, with, some, with some good success for a week or two and then I decided to test the, uh, or just to check the milliamp draw on that little inverter. It was drawing about half an amp just to run the uh, single light, so I, I then decided to just take a personal challenge to try to beat that with uh, a jewel ringer type design. And this is what I came up with. This right now is pulling 200 milliamps to light uh, 12 of these lights. I've been testing this for about the last month uh, out in my shed, and I've had light on out there just for my solar system with, with great success. Very minimal draw off the uh, battery. It's very easily topped off. So I'm very happy with this. It's a, uh, a great step for me to actually get a, uh, a very practical system. Let me just go over what this is here. This is a Met Glass uh, toroid. You can see the uh, secondary copper windings there. I've got the primary windings down here. I've got a transistor. I've got a uh, resistor capacitor diode combination here and then um, I've got the high voltage coming out here into the lights that are connected in series. The other uh, secondary winding comes into this second uh, toroid over here. It's got two sets of windings on it and then a, uh, another capacitor bridging between those to connect them in series and then the uh, the final connection to complete the, uh, the circuit there. So again, I was just really excited that I could get such a practical amount of light for my uh, workshop and for my solar system with this design. So just wanted to, uh, to post where I'm at with it. It's uh, the first practical uh, jewel ringer device for, for serious lighting that I've come up with and uh, it's definitely been serving its purpose out of my workshop so I'm gonna go ahead and get this wired up in the shed uh, I'll probably use one or two of these as an outdoor light around the shed and then put the rest inside but I just want to post an update I think I'll also post a, a section on this video just showing some of the different configurations I can also connect a single this this third set of windings is better for driving a single or two or three of these lights and then the, uh, the secondary set of windings is better if you want to drive 12 or more like I'm doing here. So I, th I just think this has great potential, you know, to be able to take any small uh, battery pack system and a small solar panel on a camping trip or for lighting in a, uh, in a small workshop or shed or cabin. I just, again, I think this has great potential. This, this design came about through just a lot of um, tuning. Anybody who's built a lot of Jewel Thiefs, uh, well, I'm sure will know what I'm talking about, but I just kept testing uh, the milliamp draw, testing lights. I, I put a cap on myself at 200 milliamps and just tried to get the maximum amount of light I could get out of that. And uh, this is the results of it. This coil here, this second uh, coil wrapped on this, you can hear the change in frequency there. Um, it's maybe it's functioning as a choke a little bit I don't know but it was really crucial to getting this design to work and the second thing that was crucial to getting this to work was this uh, diode that I have here so I'm sure there'll be requests if there are requests for a schematic and there probably will be I will uh, go ahead and, and make that my next step in this is getting this thing uh, drawn out so that others can can replicate it if they want it may be a bit of a challenge just because I've the toroid is something I found on eBay one time. Uh, there's a lot of spare parts. I'll need to, to duplicate this myself with standard parts that I can source. And once I get to that point, I will uh, go ahead and, and write up a schematic for it if there's a request for that. So anyway, just thought it was great to have a, uh, a really powerful 
a jewel ringer device for an actual practical application. So just wanted to share that.